Using the free Google Forms, you can make a form to keep track of things like your car mileage. Here's my sample over here, car mileage tracker, the date of fill up, and I notice I use the type of date, so it's going to give us a calendar. And odometer reading at fill up, and I put a requirement in there. I said all of these fields must be required. And response validation means I could say in that the number must be greater than oh, 100. You know, the odometer of the car is definitely going to be greater than 100. So that will catch any mistakes. Number of gallons purchased, price per gallon, and notes. Now, I've already entered a few entries. You can see those responses by clicking on Responses. I like to see them in a spreadsheet. So I view in Sheets. And here, you can even add some calculations so that it will calculate your miles per gallon. This is just a spreadsheet like any other spreadsheet, almost. So you, I hear you saying, well, if it's going to, why don't I just use a spreadsheet rather than create a form that then populates the spreadsheet? Why? Well, good question. And if you're on a computer, maybe the spreadsheet is the better way to go. Some people may not be comfortable with spreadsheets. But here's a really good reason. What if you want to be able to use your phone? You're in the car, after all, when you fill up with gas, and you want to be able to record this right away. Recording a spreadsheet on your phone is a royal pain. So here we go. I'm going to make it so I can do this on my phone. Here's the form. I click Share and I shorten the URL, and I copy, and then I email it to myself. Okay, now I can go to my phone, open up my email, and here is the link to the mileage tracker form. Date of fill up, just tap there. I get a calendar, I can set the date, odometer reading, one, 14, <laughs> Number of gallons of gas, 14. Isn't this easier than trying to figure out a spreadsheet? Your answer, 3, 12. And notes answered on phone, just for the hell of it. And I submit. Now I can go back to the computer, look at responses, look at the spreadsheet. There is the latest information I just added to the spreadsheet. And if you want, you say, well, but still, I have to find that email every time? Well, no. Watch this. With the mileage tracker up on my phone, I can tap the three dots and add to home screen. I've already done that. So there it is, right there. My main home screen, anytime I pull up to a gas station, get out the phone, tap there, and you have this easy way to track your mileage. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour.